So here is the idea. I've got a pretty long driveway and taking these to the gate is a pain in the ass. So I decided I'm gonna make something that I can put on the back of my tow ball and carry both of them. Because at the moment I just put one over the tow ball and carry the other one out. So I've got an old bit of gal pipe, threaded ends, what is it? 60.3 by three mil, a bit of five mil by 65 flat bar. And I got these two nuts as something that I can weld on the side to make sure it doesn't come off the toe ball while I'm hitting, or taking the bins out at a rate of knots if you catch on a drift. All right, so let's crack into it. So here's what I'm working with. I've got my 65 by five mil plate and I'm marking up 400 mil. That is my overall length. And then I'm gonna mark a center mark, which is 200 mil, obviously half and four is two. Then I'm gonna put the bar where the toe ball is gonna be that is gonna go on that center mark, I'm gonna mark around it. This is gonna give it a lot more strength being inset or cut into that flat bar rather than just floating on the end. As I didn't have a hole saw with me, I used a cut off wheel and a, and a grinder to cut that piece out. Would have been a lot quicker with a hole saw and probably a bit tidier, but I'm covering it up with the weld anyway, so who cares? After cleaning it up a little bit and getting rid of some of those edges that could cut you, I started to cut the riser. This is the riser that goes onto the toe ball and comes up. That height is determined by how high I can go without the door being able to open because I'd like to leave this on. So the thought process with this piece is that if I cut a piece out that is the same width as that, it's going to be way less likely to come out when you're going down the driveway. But it's kind of a bit of trial and error on this one because I'm not exactly sure. It's my first time building it as well. So that's about 30 mil. So if I went 30 mil, even 35, I reckon that's gonna be pretty bloody good. So after those rinky dink measurements, I cocked up. It's not gonna go through. So it didn't allow for that edge. So spirit of just making shit work. Boom. That is where we need to be. Right there. So now that we've determined the actual length of this piece, which turned out to be more like 45 mil, not 30 mil, we can go ahead and cut it out. And this is a relatively easy process, but just be careful when you are cutting the guts out of something, because it can potentially close in on you while you're grinding it and cause it to bite. So just hang on to that grinder and just have your wits about you. So now I'm welding these pieces on and there's no real art to it. Just kind of chuck them where it works. Just make sure it does fit around the arm of the wheelie bin. Now this part, again, is a guesstimation. I'm just trying to work out which way would it be. Would it be to go forward and sideways to lock it onto the toe ball? Or would it be to go both from each side and then you're clamping it on? I feel like you need something holding it backwards and sideways. So I'm gonna do front dead center. Okay, if that made no sense to you, it didn't make any sense to me either. So let me run through it with you. What I'm talking about is these three locating bolts at the bottom of this bike rack. They basically wedge it onto the tow ball so it can't go anywhere. And that's what I'm doing on here. And sideways. I measured up and it was 50 mil. From the bottom of the toe ball to the flat spot on the toe ball. Bit of advice here on this one. If you are working with anything galve, make sure you grind it off. Otherwise, you're going to get splatter and it's going to be a terrible looking weld. Plus, you're going to be breathing all those fumes and it's yuck. I got it all welded up, cleaned up, ready for paint. But I noticed these bolts are really hard to get on. I had to use a um, socket. So what I've done is weld some of that plate on the top. So I've got some leverage. Before I go any further, better make sure it fucking fits. And after chucking it on, I thought it'd probably be a good time to uh, have a trial run. And I hadn't made any crucial measurements. I kind of just made this up as I went and had some fun. And um, I tell you what, the satisfaction of uh, making something and nothing and seeing it work is second to none. If you haven't done it, do it. It's great.
Rounding up some of those edges before he wants to go, he picks them and catches himself. Well, pretty happy with that. Give it a lick of paint, chuck it on, see how fast it can go. So there it is, and all the glory. Didn't take us long, took us about uh, three hours to make that and a bit of scrap steel. So anyone can do it. Seriously, it's so simple and a bit of fun. You want to get out of the shed, get out of your head. Have a crack at making something like this. And if you need help, reach out and uh, I'm more than happy to help. The last thing we need to do is chuck the bins on the back and see if it works. Jump in the car. There you go, a bit of scrap steel and some mana, and we've made something I'm going to use every week. If you guys want to have a crack, the drawing's in the description below. But uh, yeah, thanks for uh, watching. Give us a sub, give us a like, and um, I'll see you in, uh, next week. Catch ya.